Now there is, of course, substantial variation amongst insects. If we look at the basal insect nervous system plan, it is just as I told you. A centralized brain in the head, sitting dorsally, and a series of ganglion. Typically one ganglion per every two segments in the thorax and abdomen. But there are clear modifications on this. So if we look in A, this is a general description of the ventral nerve cord and brain region of a beetle. If we look in B though, you can see this is from a wasp, and here some of the ganglia that were in the upper abdomen and two of the thoracic ganglia have indeed become fused into one larger ganglionic region. And you'll see this fusion of ganglia in different body regions across taxa. And if we look at one of the most extreme cases of ganglionic fusion, here this is in a higher diptera, this is in the blowfly. We can see here in the blowfly that in these animals, almost all of the distributed ganglia from the abdomen and thorax are pushed up into one large ganglionic unit that sits only in the thorax.